I personally am obsessed. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new. My name is Bernice, everybody's big sister. And this year's the hashtag sister squad. To become a member, subscribe, get notified. Make sure you don't leave that commenting because that's what we do around here. Welcome to another vlog. And I'm a little bit of a mess, but I'm about to sort myself out. I kind of like to show you guys my before. So you know the real me. When you see me at shop right with Susie Mall, you know that this is actually what I really look like. <laughs> because you know we take some fire snaps for instagram we use filters we put on makeup we use portrait mode we use vivid we iphone j we look international so you guys need to see the real us every now and then so i started this vlog on thursday night <laughs> it is saturday morning i started on thursday night and i was doing my nails which i'm obsessed with look at that orange that orange i just did like a simple gel overlay is this a gel polish or gel overlay whatever it's just gel with on my natural nails there's no acrylic there's nothing like that because my natural nails have kind of gone through a lot over the past few months with a whole lot of acrylic application they really needed a break so just for the last since when since last month basically july august no since july oh my god i forgot that it's september july august i've just been rocking my natural nails you might have noticed in my previous videos so i'm also going to do the same for september and then i'll do my nails probably for my birthday when i turn 24 
on the 9th of October so yeah for now we're just growing our natural nails getting them back strong but I'm really really actually enjoying the short nail thing it's nice it's nice I don't hate it at all so um yeah I was doing my nails I did my toes as well they are the same color I might may or may not show you we never know the jury is still out on that one Friday morning we had um flapjacks for breakfast which was so delicious omg so good and so easy to make you guys i showed you um how i did it if you're like a sweet if you like a sweet breakfast or you want to try a sweet breakfast you might actually want to try the flapjack mix from woolworths and then i got preoccupied and i stopped vlogging even though I, my intention was to vlog for yesterday but i didn't so anyway here we are now so this morning i had um what did i have for breakfast I had Isingwa, I had bread with peanut butter and jam, which is your guys, OG, OG fave, like one of my favorite, I actually really love breakfast, let me just put it that way, I just love breakfast, and I have quite a few things that I really like to have for breakfast, especially when I'm lazy, peanut butter and jam is my go-to, so I'm trying to tweeze my brows, because look at how overgrown they are guys, like it's almost as if I haven't threaded in months, in which I have threaded not so long ago i just cannot go back to the guy who threads me i just cannot for my sake you guys <laughs> let me just tweeze and then i will tell you why So what had happened was, you guys, I'm just going to use this waterless cleanser on the edge of my braids because they are nasty. This guy was like, this guy's base is his, his Indian, like, like Hindu Indian, I think, because they always use, were playing like Bollywood movies at the salon. And the first time I went, he was neutral. He was nice. He threaded me, whatever. The second time I went, he threw a most random compliment at me. He was like, you have such a nice pinky finger. Like, literally, he held my, he touched my pinky finger and he was like, it's so cute. And I was like, okay, it's just like any old other regular pinky finger. There's really nothing special about it. But I was like, okay, thanks. And he was like, yeah, he went on and on about it for like two minutes, how beautiful and cute and tiny it is. And I was like, okay. And then the, se the third time I went, he said, I'm beautiful. He went right out and said, he thinks I'm beautiful. And I said, okay, thank you. But I'm like, okay, it's innocent. He's just being nice, you know, customer service. And then the last time I went, guys, I tried to vlog, by the way, that vlog failed. But the last time I went, which was like maybe a month ago, um, he straight up was like aggressively flirting with me. Like he just couldn't even like hold back. He started, you look beautiful. What are you going to do with your hair? And then he said the most random thing. He said, my WhatsApp profile picture looks good. And I was like, I don't even have this guy's number. I don't need his number. I just usually just show up. I don't have an, I don't need to make an appointment or anything like that. I just show up for my threading. And he's like, my WhatsApp profile picture looks good. And I'm like, what in the Indian hacker is this guy right now? And he just went on and on about how beautiful I am. And he ended up asking my age. And I said, I'm 28. And he said he thought I was like 23 because he's also 23. And I'm like, okay, then if you're our 23, what was going to happen? So I was just like answering, you know, like straightforward answers. Like not really going deeper and entertaining his like pursuits. But yeah, guys, by the time I was done getting threaded, um... I gave him my money and he gave me my change and he's giving my change he lingered like you know when you you give someone like you touch their hand and he lingered and he was like you know what's the most beautiful and i was like what he's like your lips are the most beautiful and i was like yo my friend this is the last time you are seeing me eh? <laughs> i was like no this is the last time this guy is seeing me i was like really really enjoying his service i loved the way that he threaded my brows and the fact that he was accessible and affordable but okay, i guess i'll be tweezing myself because also paying 120 to thread my brows i'm not ready for that like yes jela yes i like luxurious things i like um convenience i like 
treatments and special treatments and whatnot but like 120 to thread my brows when i can do it so really to so guys i'm just gonna go buy those fancy razors from mr price they look something like this but like it's a razor tip um it's so easy to use it looks easy to use i've seen it on some other youtubers and influencers so i'm just gonna buy that until i can afford to spend 120 on a brow thread but until such a time i will be doing it at home because apparently my lips are beautiful and my pinky is cute and i cannot risk my life guys with some young indian boy i just cannot because i feel like the next time i go there he's literally gonna try to kiss me or something like that and it's just gonna be so awkward for me or try to like ask for my number or ask to call me because clearly he already has my number somehow hi anyway guys let me get ready i am gonna do it off camera um nelly and i are going to the mall she literally reserved this day for me you guys because literally the whole week we have been wanting to spend time but she's been working because the festive season say Kalile, you guys are out and about and you want to do your nails and all of that so she's been like hectically busy so she was like you know what saturday i'm not doing anything it's me and it's you so it's like a sister day it's like a sister day and i'm excited so i'll show you guys my finished look and then I will try to show you what I'm wearing and then we will head off to the mall to do some light shopping and then lunch then later on we'll come back I have some things to unbox and show you guys bought some stuff I take a lot and what else I'll probably show you obviously whatever I've got I'm I kind of have my eye on something at Mr. Price these other semi formal shorts they're so cute oh my god you guys I hope I'll get a size and I like the way they fit hopefully and this other two piece that I saw online, hopefully they have it in store in my size, which I don't know anymore what my size is because like I've been a size 28 for like my whole life. So I'm getting thicker and I'm like, am I really going to go to size 30? Am I really? <laughs> Could I ever? Because <laughs> I like guys. Anyway, I think that because I won't finish and Nelly is so fast when she's doing her makeup. She'll finish before me and she'll get annoyed. So I'll show you guys the finished product and then we all catch. Alrighty guys, this is the final look today. I'm doing a no makeup makeup look. You guys know I love to look like... Is she born with it? Is it Maybelline? Uh, bitch, it's Maybelline. We all know it's Maybelline. <laughs> um, I'm so fortunate to have found a foundation that matches my skin tone. It is so important to me because... It is so easy to look mismatched, you guys. Before we head out, let me show you guys my new cover. Where is my new cover? My new cover from Inner Case Charms. I'm so excited. I think it kind of also goes with my aesthetic. Like, today's aesthetic is like, my dad has money, so I don't have to try hard. <laughs> my dad has no money, and I do have to try hard. But people don't need to know. So I got myself a new case. And it's so gorgeous, you guys. Doesn't it look rich? Like, doesn't it look expensive? I'm so impressed. I love it. And it's silicone. I was actually worried about the texture of this because um Angfuni e cover is on Mola, you know what I mean? So I'm really happy that it's like a wipeable material. It also has a card slot. I actually hate people who put card their license and their bank cards behind their phones. But I guess if you have like a card slot, it's not so bad um i also love the fact that it protects my camera lenses guys i love her cases even the one that i had prior which is this one protects my case my my lenses guys one of these cameras on the iphone costs like 4k and that's a whole new phone so you need something that protects your phone like this so i'm gonna put this on you see you see to see that it matches my vibe i have to take a mirror selfie somewhere now i just have to i don't have a choice what are people gonna say anyway guys i'm blabbing let us get going my sense of the day because it is spring apparently or almost spring it's getting warmer this is a nice soft girly scent i'm running out of it i've been wearing it a lot lately 
but yeah this is one of my faves and i think it fits with my relaxed chilled girl vibe today It's a problem, eh? But this one is a must. It's a must, him. But on Luna. Why are you jealous? It pays me and I give me. Hello. What do you want to do? One hour, one hour. The 2K. Go more long. Go car park. Wait, I'm. Pies, it is Monday now. I know I didn't vlog yesterday because I didn't do anything. I just went to church after church, got home, ate. It's Sunday, cause passed out. Like I slept. I had such a nice nap, you guys. Like I had such a baby nap. It was so good. Anyway, it's Monday now. Uh, it's almost 1 p.m. It's like 10 to 1. And I want to go to the mall. Because I realized the other day, like, I didn't get a lot of things that I said I wanted to get. So there's a few things that I missed. Also, I want to check if I can't um, swing into Sobe for a underarm wax. My underarms. They're not cute. I had my um, intimate area waxed a few weeks ago. But by then, I had kept all my hair for so long that it was just... I couldn't stand my under my armpit hair anymore. So I shaved my armpit hair before my appointment. So I couldn't wax my armpit hair because there's nothing. So now my the zoo is still intact, but my armpits have outgrown. So I'm just gonna stick um check into Sobe if I can't get my underarms waxed real quick. Cause I'm going to the mall and you know it's a one-stop shop because I could go to African, but it's out of my path today and I am not driving. And kind of not in the mood to pay for a ride to that side of town today but i will obviously still be waxing there just cheating 
just a little bit so anyway guys on saturday we went to cappuccinos we had some nice lunch i had fish and i had ribs i was such guys cappuccino is not the place for me anymore i mean i still love their food and their staff they have really amazing friendly staff and a nice little outdoor area but it's a it's a club and i'm a little bit concerned about the crowd that's hanging out at cappuccinos now like i don't want to cock block anyone but it's a bit suspicious like it's a little bit suspicious like yo but i just feel personally out of place um especially on saturday it was a maza guys the 2Ks, not even the 2Ks, the 2010s, <laughs> the 2010s, the 2007s that were chilling there, like, it was, it was very suspicious, guys. I know, like, I remember back when I was, like, 16, 17, yes, we were, like, a little, you know, we tried things, but I don't know, the way that these kids of today are trying things is just a little, it's a little overwhelming for me, and as a big sister, it's very cringy to watch I was looking at my beautiful, gorgeous little sisters walking around in the tiniest, tiniest shorts. And I don't want to um, be that type of sister that says girls can't do whatever they want. But the promiscuity in our little sisters is a little bit shocking, guys. It's a bit... It makes me very nervous. And I don't know. I wish I wish we had other things for the kids to do around here. Like, you know, at, at their age, we still had mascots. It didn't last long, but I remember going on dates at Mascot. I remember we used to hang out at McDonald's, but we didn't hang out at McDonald's with Ama Savannah, guys. I don't remember that part. And when we started being like pop and stuff, we, we went to the parks, we went to Taliat, we went to, you know, those outdoor areas. We never went to the parking lot of a mall or whatever. It's just, I don't know. It's a bit ratchet, you guys. I know that there's some of you little sisters who watch me who are in the mix with that. And you know what? I'm legit judging you guys. I'm legit chatting you. It was very weird. I don't want to say. I don't. I don't want to not say. And I honestly wish we had more activities like very nice social clubs for 16, 17, 18 year olds instead of Hubley and and drinks and whatever. You know, I really, really wish we had more of that. Anyway, before I'm going in titties, I want to show you guys what I got on Saturday. <laughs> I'm so obsessed with these shoes, you guys. I literally nearly fainted when I saw these at Jet because I had been wanting these at Zara and I tried on this very shoe. It's exactly the same, guys. I don't even want to lie to you. It's exactly the same as the Zara one. The only difference is the branding. And I tried it on at Zara and I was like, mm. and it was around, I think the last time I went to Zara was May. Oh, they probably miss me. I need to go soon. Uh, it was may so it was like starting a winter season i mean ending autumn and going into winter so i was like you know what i'm not gonna buy a sandal for winter i need boots i need warmer things you know so i didn't buy it and then when i saw it it said jet i almost died because i knew it was obviously going to be cheaper because the zara one was 700 and then i get closer and it's 189 rand and i get to the till it's 169 rand so i even saved another 20 rand when i got to the till which is absolutely insane um, one of the sisters tagged me on my social media this morning saying thanks for the plug and she further mentioned that she got the last size five so you might get there and find it which says pale but if you're in other areas of the country you might find it at jet really really cute very sturdy feels very comfortable you know as comfortable as a heel can be really and then at mr price i got these babies just a nice little flat a mule shoe like my tower and i were just saying on sunday which we are getting so old like walking in hills is a mission and i walk to church so i kind of wanted these for church for days where i'm just like i'm not even gonna wear a heel today because i wear my heel from home to church i don't do that whole thing where you guys bring your heels in your bags or in a plastic and then nah girl i i stick to it i make a decision and i stick to it so on days where i haven't made a decision to wear a heel this is what i'll wear also it looks very zara it looks very 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 zara those who shop at zara or um browse the zara online sites you guys will know so anyway hey i'm think i'm so hungry guys i think i'm gonna start with eating and today i'm really really craving pizza or pasta i don't know or both or really both i don't know I would see in as far as like my weight loss goes because I've gained so much weight, but I kind of don't want to put pressure on myself. Also, it's still spring. 
um and i still have time to lose weight for summer because <laughs> summer starts in december guys summer starts in december so i still have time i can just you know gradually get back into the swing of things anyway <laughs> I am back home now uh, I've been back for about an hour or so after panarotis which literally fed my craving you guys we went um, to do some light shopping so I'm gonna show you guys some of the things that I got I'm not gonna show you everything because you guys already know what I buy I feel like you all guys already know what I buy at Woolies what I buy at Discam I never went to Discam I went to Clicks where did I buy Clicks I didn't buy anything it clicks the one the one thing that i wanted i couldn't find so i went to Woolworths instead so yeah i got my salad mix from Woolworths. i got cocoa pops i got some dried fruit some sweets yeah i think that's about it that's what i got from Woolworths. and then the only thing that i bought that was new that i'm trying out from Woolworths is this botanicals body scrub it's chamomile and bergamot um it's a body scrub i haven't scrubbed like i haven't used a scrub in a long time and i want to do that because i want to do like a nice pamper day and i just feel like my skin could really do with a scrub because it's quite dry right now and i know a scrub is um gonna take away the dead skin so that my skin can actually absorb moisture properly yeah so i want to do that i'm trying it out it smells nice it smells clean doesn't it smells like zarius but not like fancy i don't know how to per, i don't know how to describe it but it feels refreshing it smells refreshing and fresh that's the word it smells fresh and then i went to game i got some tissues and whatever else for the house and then this is the only thing i want to show you guys that i got that is different from my usual stuff i got these frisco chino which is basically a chalk cappuccino um you guys know that i'm obsessed with the nescafe one but can i tell you inshallah i'm tired of it guys i'm tired and i haven't even opened my second box from my last shopping haul so i think i'm gonna take a break and sort of like 
trick my system and reset it with this one because i had this one i bought you know those single sachets just to try it out and i really liked it so i'm going to continue with this one for now and then we'll finish the rest of the nescafes yeah other than that guys there's nothing else that's special that you missed out on i want to show you guys that i got it pep so excited guys one thing about me name let me tell you i'm getting old i'm getting old so i prioritize my comfort above all else so right now i'm like looking for things that are very comfortable things that i can easily go from like i can easily rock with like a biker short a t-shirt you know what i mean but before i show you what i got that's comfortable i bought these eyebrow razors from mr price scarlet hill you guys know i told you i'm not going to be paying for threading anymore so i thought let me buy these cute little razors so that i can trim myself nicely and safely they can close which is nice and hygienic yeah and they were only 25.99 for three that's that's quite a steal and you can also use it to shave the rest of your face i don't really feel like shaving my face is a good idea so i'll just stick to my brows so anyway as i was saying these days if you know it's comfortable if you know it's safe you know i'm a tamba guys so you need to be in comfortable shoes and all of that so i bought these beautiful gladiator sandals from pep guys these are so comfortable i saw these last week and i showed them to zanele and last week we went to inclusive more pep and she got her size and there was only one um size seven left we we're both a size five six depending on the make of the shoe but this shoe is actually quite small so we both had to get a size seven but there was only one size seven at um inclusive mall so i had to wait for my turn and i bought mine today they are so comfortable they look so cute on guys nearly had hers on the last vlog and i was so jealous the whole time they were only 79.99 really really comfortable i don't know if they're durable i don't think they're durable because they are quite cheap you guys but for a nice chilled shoe nothing fancy love it i'll try it on for you guys my feet are not cute but i want guys i want you guys to see what it looks like on my feet and then i got myself some loungewear which i'm gonna use pretty much as pajamas well as loungewear because most days when i'm not going anywhere i bath and then i change into another set of pajamas or another set or another gown you know so this is perfect for me i saw this go vongai mapo if you follow vongai on instagram she showed us this pajamas or this lounge set from pip and it's so so good you guys it feels so nice i don't want to lie to you it feels so so nice this is the top part very nice loose fitting i feel like I'm proud, like I said, like I hate how I just usually sleep in any guys. That's how um reckless I am when it comes to what I sleep in. But I feel like I need to start investing in pajamas because quality sleep, the older you get, becomes such a priority. You have no idea. And what you wear to bed really does count. So this is nice and loose. Oh, these cost cost me a hundred and thirty-nine Rand, which is pretty fair i don't know i guess i think i'm gonna try these on for you guys as well real quickly and then we will conclude this here vlog guys this is what they look like on i personally am obsessed i really like it the band is nice and loose i can definitely find myself sleeping in these peacefully everything is just nice and comfortable guys and it's actually quite nice i feel like i could wear this top as a top instead of like as a loungewear indoor type of thing i love them guys i'm very much impressed thank you vongai for the plug i love them i really 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 like them some are not even taking them off guys they feel so luxurious no lies like they really feel good like i would definitely recommend that you get these especially if you're a homebody you will definitely enjoy this like my good vulgar gaze you know you know you're not going anywhere you're gonna netflix and chill this is the perfect perfect lounge set it's so comfortable and it's very breathable like i can I just see on a nice hot summer day you won't feel like i mean on a night nice spring or summer day you won't feel like you won't feel overwhelmed by the materials very very nice material and they have them in shorts as well 
and they have them with a little print but i think this um plain color and plain design is very very nice and very chic and it kind of looks expensive as you guys could see it properly but maybe one of these days i'll be able to show you guys like properly properly because it's very dark in my room and i can't show you a really a nice full body if you do want to get a pair of these pajamas please make sure that you get your size like i'm a size I was a size 32 i'm more of a size 34 now and this fits really 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 nicely in size small so don't go like crazy and be like oh pajamas are supposed to be big and then you size up to like a large or whatever it's not going to be nice it's not going to fit well this is a size small and it fits my huge ass bum so get your size or even size down i don't know yeah get your size guys but anyway guys this is it for me i am calling it a night and calling it a vlog i'm so sorry i knew that i mean i thought that i was going to be like super consistent after the last vlog but guys creativity my creative juices are down 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 all the way down but i'm trying I'm pushing through it we'll definitely try to do better anyway guys if you're new here don't forget to subscribe we love you we need you Please join the sister squad. Don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up and comment down below. I'll see you guys in the next video.